I want to show you guys uh, eight games that this laptop can run uh, because I've been a proponent of Ultrabook gaming for a while now, uh, almost a year, and I've been telling people, you know, you can game on your Ultrabooks and they, they just had no clue that it was even possible. So we're going to take a look at Battlefield 4, Fallout 4, we're going to look at uh, League of Legends, Counter-Strike Global Offensive, and uh, Rust, as well as Ark Survival, and we're going to see how well it runs uh, on this uh, laptop. So let's take a look that uh, the game actually is playable. It runs really well on medium graphics, 1280 by 800, so I'm really happy to report on that. Um, overall, the game runs pretty good. There's a couple hiccups you might run into while you're playing um, here and there, but that's totally normal. And for this being the HD 5500, one of the lower end graphics, this actually performs pretty good by 800, as that's gonna be the best resolution you can be able to play the game at. Everything's pretty much on medium. As it's actually running exceptionally well. Here I'm trying to kill a guy in a tank. I missed some of my shots, so didn't really land him, unfortunately. Um, here's me driving around in a tank. I actually thought that tank performance was fairly smooth. Usually it stays around 30. Um, we're driving around a destroyed rubble city. It's like 25 to 30-ish. And then if you're in a really intense moment, sometimes it falls down to 20. Then what I do is I rendezvous with a bunch of other tanks that were uh, helping me out. But that's what I did after I ended up killing this guy here. So as you can see, even with 22 frames, you know, I turned my tank around. I got hit in many different areas. When you're in a jet, surprisingly, you get an additional 10 FPS. You'd figure if you saw so much that it would be getting rendered all, but apparently uh, jet performance was actually the smoothest in the whole game. So. Uh, and then I find a bridge over there and I was like, oh cool, this is really neat. I should go uh, take a look, see what's going on here. Anyway, it's like a one-way bridge. Whoever built it, there's like no way to get on top of that bridge. It beats me whoever built that thing. Um, but yeah, as you can see, freezing up some more. Not very good. Um, and so then I find a fortress that I start heading over to. And that's when I get the 10, 10 to 15 FPS. It's just terrible. So this game, you're not going to be able to enjoy it on the Dell XPS. At least not. Um, a few things that I can tell you: the game takes a really, really long time to load. Um, when you're playing on HD 5000 or HD 6000, the game runs decent, but on the Dell XPS, it runs on the HD 5500, which, for whatever reason, it does not run very good. Um, I would say that it's probably not playable, just because I'm getting, I think, about 15 FPS or less. Hey, hit me on the stick ball, dog! Almost like that! Show, homie! Looks like it's working pretty darn good. If you guys want me to test this, a particular game, leave a comment down below. But the thing is, this is integrated graphics, so you have to be realistic with yourself. Um, you're not going to have the best, you know, graphical experience. That's really, really good quality. Um, one of the most impressive things about this laptop that I noticed is that it is really quiet. Uh, the kind of fan layout they use here when you're doing work, um, it just stays quiet. And you can't really hear it, even when it's on max load, it's really quiet. In fact, it's almost twice as quiet as the MacBooks, which is... So who is this laptop for? I'd say this laptop is for anybody who's in an educational or business setting that needs a thin, portable laptop that's powerful enough to do a little bit of light gaming on the side, but also powerful enough to run applications like Adobe Photoshop, video editing applications, and a lot of the basics like Excel and Word. I mean, this laptop's gonna do just about everything you need it to do for most people. Um, you can even do music production with this particular laptop. Uh, I want to thank you guys for watching this particular video. By no means is it, it's not perfect. It's it's one of my more uh, newer videos that I've done, so I haven't done that many reviews on laptops. Um, I would like some feedback on how I can improve this particular video. Uh, so if you have any insight or if I got something wrong, just let me know in the bottom section here. And uh, I uh, really hope that uh, you'll subscribe because uh, I'm making these videos for you. So if you have any idea on how I can make them better, 
Uh, I, because I like to keep a two-way communication with most of my, my subscribers. So if they ask me a question, I'm bound to get back to you in, in an hour or, or a lot of times instant. 